In this lesson, we will learn about rigging. Now, rigging is the process of creating connections between objects to make animating easier. Now, it can be a very complicated process, such as creating controls for a human character. Or it can be as simple as telling one object to follow another object. While rigging is not animating in the strictest sense, knowing the basics will help you animate more efficiently. Here we have our character's hand. If we try to animate this without a rig, it would be almost impossible. We would have to animate small parts of the hand and keyframe the rotation and translation, then move on to the next part of the finger and continue the process. Or we can take some time before animating to create a rig and then make our life much easier. Now, Once this rig is built, we can simply change an attribute to make our hand close. This rig is constructed of many different pieces, which we'll learn about in the following lessons. One common and powerful rigging tool is parenting. Let's take a look at an example. We have our character running around in circles, but we want to control him with another character. By parenting our runner to this new character, we create a parent-child relationship. The child can move freely, but if the parent moves, the child will move with it. As you can see, our character is still running around after being parented. But if we move the parent, then the child also moves. The child can be independently animated, but it will also inherit transform data from the parent. So if we scale the parent, the child also scales. But if we scale the child, the parent does not change. All rigs have control objects, and ours is no different. The parent is controlling the child, so we call it the control object. Now most rigs are built so that you can only animate based off the control objects. In the following lessons, we'll learn about the various tools used to create a rig.